Despite the myriad options available when you're looking for a distribution platform for your videos, YouTube is likely to be the most popular choice for the vast majority of businesses and entrepreneurs. So it's useful to have a basic understanding of how to gain exposure on YouTube and how to stand out among the crowd. Here we'll look at some effective ways that you can do that. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization and generally refers to the way that websites can ensure that they show up in Google searches. As we've already discussed though, YouTube is effectively a search engine too and when someone is looking for your content here they'll do so by going to YouTube and searching for related topics. Fortunately a few things can help you to encourage your video to show up. And the single most important thing to choose is a good title for your YouTube video. If your video has a long obscure name then no one's going to search for it. At the same time though if your video is called fitness then it's hardly going to be able to compete with the millions of other videos with that word in the title. So your aim here is to use a name that people are likely to be looking for while at the same time being distinct and descriptive. Now you can find keyword tools available for YouTube that help you to identify these kinds of titles. But unfortunately they often charge and they aren't always reliable. The easier method is to use a little common sense as well as keeping a careful eye on what suggestions come up when you start typing into the search box on YouTube. Then take a look at the other videos there and try to see how many you're going to be going up against. When you upload a video to YouTube you have the option to add a description where you'll write what your video is about. This is another opportunity to include your keywords and while the precise weighting and algorithm is unknown, it's generally agreed that the more content you can provide here, the more likely your video will be to show up high on the lists. And, you know, that makes a lot of sense if you think about it. A good description will also encourage more people to watch your video. Finally, you can also use tags which will further help YouTube to index and categorize your video and make it more likely to show up as a suggested video. Here you can literally select the keywords that you want to target and there's no limit so add a few different ones that will help describe your video. Note that all these SEO techniques, the title, the description, the tags will also play a role in helping your video show up in other search engines like Google. The thumbnail is the small image that shows when your video is listed after a search or suggested next to other videos. If you want your video to get as many clicks as possible, then you should create a custom thumbnail that you can upload and make your video look enticing. YouTube will likely also view this as a sign of quality and be more likely to help you promote the video. In fact, this is particularly important seeing as your thumbnail will also show up when your videos show up on Google as well as social media and it's going to encourage a click through here as well. YouTube is able to detect various measures of your video's quality. For instance, it can tell if your video is low or high definition, if it's shaky or if it doesn't fill the screen. The higher quality your video is, the better chance it has of ranking highly. And this is only going to become more the case as YouTube's algorithms improve and it gets smarter at telling which videos are the highest quality. Note as well that YouTube will take into account factors such as how long your visitors watch your video for and this will obviously be greatly impacted by the quality of what you upload. If you want to create a legion of loyal YouTube subscribers and get lots of likes, which you do, then you need to make sure that you respond to their comments and that you actively engage with them. Showing that there are real, living, breathing people behind your account will help to build loyalty and will make them much more likely to watch and to listen to your future content. If you get a comment, take the time to respond personally as soon as possible. Obviously, if you start getting hundreds of comments a day, you may eventually need to outsource this task to a virtual assistant. Sharing your videos on social media is an important way to encourage more views and to help your videos spread. Fortunately, YouTube has a number of buttons ready to help you share quickly to Facebook, Twitter and other channels. 
Likewise, you can use tools like IFTTT, which you can find here at IFTTT.com and stands for If This Then That, to share your videos through even more platforms automatically as soon as they're uploaded. When you become a publisher on YouTube, you'll get your own channel, which will act as a page where your visitors can view all your videos. They can learn about you and they can find your links. And this is similar to a Facebook page insofar as you can add a profile picture, a cover image and information to help sell yourself. And this is important from both an SEO perspective and a general marketing one. Some things to do here include writing a detailed description about your channel, uploading attractive high resolution images, having a channel trailer. Now this is a video that welcomes new visitors to your channel and explains what your business is all about and creating playlists to show curated content in categories on the page. You should also make sure that you link to your website from your YouTube account and that you connect to your Google Plus account. You should also include links to other social media channels too. When you view your channel, you'll see that you have a range of channel tips shown on the far right. If you go through these, you can help to improve your ranking. One of the ways that the very biggest YouTube bloggers like Vsauce manage to increase their viewership is by partnering up with other channels on the platform. For instance, if you have a video series on a subject that is similar to another channel you enjoy, you can give that channel a plug at the end of one of your videos and you can ask them to do the same. Likewise, on your channel page you have the option to add featured channels. If you do add a few channels you enjoy here, you can ask them to do the same and in that way you'll once again help promote each other. You can even take this further and do interviews with other YouTubers or joint videos. You know, don't be afraid to reach out to other creators. Networking is a big part of any marketing strategy and video marketing is no different. In the next video, I'll tell you how to make sure that your videos make conversions.